I've gotten a, a lot of comments from one of my videos of, I think it would have been one of my my second, well, second controversial video where I'm talking about um, this Negro Bedouinch named Faith. And I've gotten a lot of, you know, mixed reviews, like, you know, basically the guys are saying like, yeah, the Negro Bedouinches, well, you know, you know, they're bad to black society. They love downing black men. And then you have, you know, women on the other corner. And, you know, um, they would say, you know, there's nothing wrong with a woman's racial preference. Um, and th that's that's really just kind of the issue that I have is, you know, I don't really care about who a black woman dates. It's just when you're saying dumb shit, Oh, with, with black women logic of saying, oh, well, the white boys are nicer. And like, r really? We're so, like, how often do we see uh, a, 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 a rape case of a white boy raping somebody and they, they, they get a slap on the wrist? Ah, he, nah, he didn't do that. He's a football player. He ain't that dumb to ruin his life. Ah, he, he was just with the guys, he's just doing a guy thing, you know, you know, give him two months, you know, he's all right. You, you do see that with, you know, white boys and you're seeing it now with, you know, um, all these white Trump supporters and don't be surprised when these white Hillary supporters have the same mindset as the Trump supporters. So, you know, it's not, it's no surprise. It shouldn't even be a surprise that, you know, that you know, white men are showing off their race superiority complex or the god complex, their white, their white god complex, as you will. I don't have a problem with racial preferences. I mean, I do have a problem with racial preferences, um, because you know, there's no basis. There's no basis. The only kind of basis that white men beat black men is when it comes to wealth and economics. You know, you know. You know that that's where it, you know it comes in. You know, yes, the white boys they have a decent, better community. Um, they have wealth and in infrastructure. Um, your kids are most likely to go off to better schools, and um, you know if your child can pass, you know most likely he or she can, you know, have least resistance getting accepted into white organizations or brotherhoods or sisterhoods etc um and i'll admit i should get on you know black men who down black women i talked about it a couple times i don't think i've talked to it as much as i should and you know that that's my, my bad on my part because i i think it's really hard to measure it but um, knowing that black men are more likely and are, there are more black men in interracial relationships than black women, you know, it, it, it's just rightfully so that, hey, black men should, you know, if, if you, if you're criticizing black women, you should be, um, a black woman should be your top choice if you're criticizing her. If she's not your top choice, I mean, you should just leave it alone at that. Um... But um, I'm, here's an update on um, the girl that I was, um, the girl that was basing my video off of, of um, my last year's video, um, what's it called? Something about uh, can Negro bedwinches be saved? Um, here's an update. I have actually haven't talked to her since 2015, since March of 2015. I think the last thing she ever said to me was happy belated birthday or it, uh, it was either March or February. I want to say February, but maybe March. Um, I did remember I did try calling her and, you know, I didn't get an answer. Uh, I just got voicemail. I tried reaching her on Facebook. I found her on Facebook. I friended her. I, I told that I didn't get anything and then I, I just kind of gave up. But what was crazy was that I had a dream of her, and it was a dream that me, that me and her 
were um, going on a date and um, you know it was really romantic and I'll admit it had me feeling some type of way because I, I still did like her at that time but you know as of now I you know she hasn't accepted my friend request um, she's active on Facebook she hasn't denied my friend request she just hasn't accepted it so uh, she's probably kind of maybe confused like the name's familiar but the face isn't because I, I deleted my my uh, pictures off of Facebook so you know that could be one reason um, but but I, I haven't talked to her. I haven't really felt any type of feelings towards her. I just, I just let it go. Um, she, she, and she, I let it go. Plus, she didn't seem all that to me anyway. I mean, she had a cute face, but I, I kind of did think she was a little. She was just kind of like borderline to where it was like she's a little too, you know, a little too thick, a little too chubby. She wasn't really fat, but it was just. She just borderline what it's like you need to work out a little bit, like lose ten to twenty pounds, you know. She was just borderline, but you know, she was cute. But I would say that's the only problem or the only kind of flaw that I wouldn't be rushing to or dying to get with her, but oh yeah, and she's she's in a relationship anyway, so that's a that's a lost cause. She's with some white boy. You know, some, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, a white, look, he looked like a country dude by the looks of it, you know, short, medium, they like the same height, got a little mustache, so, you know, that, that's a, that's a lost cause, and I ain't, I'm not even mad at it, you know, I'm not mad at it, it's just that, you know, she's a cool person, but uh, she is a Negro Bedouin, because when, when you know, based off the conversations that me and her used to have, even though we were friends, it was just that, you know, the racial preference of I always wanted a, a light skin ba a, a mixed baby, I always wanted a white man, and, you know, it is like, what merit are you judging this off of? What, you know, black is ugly? You know, it, when, when black women, especially that a black woman who was young as her, she was like, she had to be like 19, you know, um, and you, you know you see you're young you're not ready for kids especially with her she was she was i think she was getting into a nursing program and she's trying to get her nursing degree you know that takes forever it's like when somebody says that shit like they're looking for they're serious about getting a mixed baby and again with a white man it's you know that that, that bitch is beyond repair and plus she's really religious and she had she doesn't me and her have gotten into it like two or two or three years ago three years i think it was three years ago um and she, she didn't like that i wasn't christian but i found out that she had white friends that weren't christian and she was okay with that so i called her out on her bigotry but um that, that would that would be it I, they really ain't much to tell about her you know i would i would like to you know just talk to her and you know just see what's changed and you know she's a cool chick and all um, you know, she's not like some Negro Bedouin that I've met that has, you know, an abusive past with black men. I just, I, I just think she's one of those black women who associate blackness with poverty. And I think she has that fear of, you know, of seeing black people and it just equates to poverty and she just doesn't want to. That's just my theory. You know, that's just my theory. But, um... That's really all I have to say about that situation.